Hey, what's going on? My name is Lucas, and this is going to be a video of me basically featuring my render settings I use for Sony Vegas. Um, I record with Fraps, and you know, oftentimes I'll record in Minecraft. Uh, so first things first, you're going to want to download Fraps. Make sure you have a video uh, editing software. I use Sony Vegas, so this is going to be you know specifically for Sony Vegas. But you know, it doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm sure the options are mostly the same. And uh, I'll just I'm going to be recording some Minecraft uh, footage here. So first things first, uh, open up your Fraps. If you don't have it, check out my other videos. Um, and you're going to want to flip to the Movies tab. All right, now, this is uh, the stuff that you know really matters right here, video capture settings. You want it to be 30 frames per second if you're uploading to YouTube. YouTube's max is 30 frames per second. Anything more, it'll just, you know, it'll cut it down. It'll just make it so that the file on your computer is huge, when it doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, full size and half size, this is basically the same thing, but I usually just record on full size so that it can render down to a smaller size or I guess aspect ratio. Um, usually I'll just keep it on full size anyways. You can try out half size. I've never really recorded on that but full size is the way to go for me. Um, a lock frame rate, you don't want this to be checked. It's good for it to be going you know, up and down as it varies between you know up uploading stuff and uh, you don't want it to lag. If it's locked frame rate, it can lag very easily. So uh, you don't want that to be checked. Over here, sound capture, this is uh, kind of up to you. Um, record Windows 7 sound, if that's checked. Anything that would normally be going to a pair of headphones will be recorded. Uh, so, you know, and then you can also check this, which means you'll have two audio streams. You'll have your microphone and the Windows 7 sound. Um, record external input. I'm using my laptop one, so this is integrated microphone array. So, um, uh, down here, you don't want lossless uh, RBG capture or syncing, not syncing audio, video checked. But um, usually I'll just hide the most cursor in the video. I don't really know why. I don't think it really matters, but I just do it anyways. <laughs> and I'll usually keep my overlay on so I know when, any, uh, when I'm capturing and when I'm not capturing. So I can minimize that. You know my settings now. So I'm going to open up Minecraft here. And I'm sure my computer's going to lag a bit. <laughs> so uh, I have a world here. I'll just select it. Minecraft 1.8 update, it's pretty cool. So, um, as you can see on the top left, it's at around 65 frames per second. Uh, this is just when it's, you know, lingering, it's not recording. Um, when I start recording, it will drop substantially, so you want it to be, you know, if you're recording at 30 frames per second, you want it to be around, like I said, now it's around like 85 to 90. You want it to be pretty high, because as soon as you start recording, it'll drop. So, uh, what I'll do here is I'll quickly... I guess just stand here and just record and spin and jump around a bit. There we go. See, and now it's at my target frame per second, which is around 30. See, and now I'll dig a little hole, jump in the hole. There we go. See, and end that footage. Sure. So I'll quickly uh, close down my Minecraft here. And now we're going to open up Sony Vegas. Now, this is my editing program. First thing you're going to want to do is go to File, New. And this is where you can choose your project settings. Um, you want to use this one right here, HDV 720 by 30, uh, 1280 by 720, 29.9 frames per second. Uh, you can just enter this manually, it doesn't really matter, but um, the width is going to be 1280, height 720. This is going to make it 720p HD, which is HD quality. Um, field order, you want none field order, uh, square pixels, uh, don't, don't even choose that. Frame rate, I know. You want it to be NTSC. That's you know standard. It's not uh, 29.97. I'm not sure why it's 97. Usually, you know, it could be 3.0, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you obviously don't want 3D on. Um, this this one right here is the one that's really you're going to want to change around. Uh, full resolution random quality. You can do good or best. I recommend you know one of these. Um, Whatever the footage I recorded was very short, so I'm just going to be hitting best. But if it's really long, you want you're going to want to hit good, uh, so it doesn't take hours and hours to upload. Motion blur, um, nah, Gaussian, and you don't want the DNA lace. So you're going to hit OK here, and I'm now going to upload my uh, clip if I can find it here. Mm, that's it right there. Okay, so here it is. Going to want to drag that in there. And now we can play it. Yeah, so it does have audio. Um, I see audio. I'll turn the volume down a lot. Let's see if that helps any of it. 
All right, now it's very, very low. Good. Um, so if we're going to zoom in a bit, uh, I'm just going to move this up. Oh, what the hell did I just do? Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so um, you want to make sure you can see this at the bottom here. Also, if you didn't you know, go to File and New to select your project settings, you can just hit this one right here, or Alt-Enter, and you can just open it up again, change it midway through. So first thing we're going to do is here, I'm just going to quickly like cut it here, you know, take this, cut it here again, take this, and just like lengthen it out. Just fill this gap completely. So now it's going to like... Yeah, so now it's just slowed there. Uh, this is just going to be showing you how to do multiple clips. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right-click it, Properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. You want to do this for every single one. Usually, when you, as soon as you upload the clip and before you start cutting it up, you'll just do this so it does it for every single one. But you're going to make sure you want to do that. This um, basically, when you record your footage that you recorded, isn't always going to be 1280 by 720. My uh, my monitor and the resolution it records that is around. Um, I can actually show you here. Uh, just got my recording here. All right, so I'll open up the properties and see if it shows in here. Uh, hmm. Actually, you no. Know, yeah. See, it only recorded eight four eight by four eighty. That's because it was in a window. Um, but by you know choosing it so it doesn't maintain aspect ratio it'll actually change to fill up the complete window uh it could cause a little distortion if you have a really weird shaped resolution but you know generally that's not the case so uh i did my changes whatever you can edit it further if you want and um here i'll quickly save this actually no, we won't. <laughs> you save it and then you want to hit render as now you're gonna to want to choose your location to save it. I'm just gonna be putting in this Minecraft folder. All right, this is where it really gets kind of confusing and choosy for people. Um, the save is type right here. This is all the types you can choose. The ones I'll typically use is WMV. Uh, I sometimes use MP4. This is one I downloaded as XCam. Um, you can use AVI if you want. And I don't really recommend anything else except for maybe MP4. MP4 tends to be a good one. But for the sake of most of my videos, I always use in, use a WMV. Now, I'm going to be using the settings that Operator Perry show me. It's pretty typical. but um, So once you have this WMV chosen, you're going to want to hop into here. You can choose any custom, any template. Hit custom. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll just be using this one right here. So... So open this up here. Include audio on CBR. This is pretty standard. I think this is default for everyone. Now image size, high definition, twelve eighty by seven twenty. This is the one you want to choose right here. If you have a good enough resolution that you can record fourteen forty by ten eighty, choose this. But you're going to also need to choose your uh, change your project settings. But um, twelve eighty by seven twenty. Square pixel ratio is the normal. Um, same frame rate that you chose earlier on. Uh, Keyframes per second. I usually just choose five, three. Video smoothness. If you have a really good computer, do a hundred. Uh, I'll just do ninety, so it's not that big. Bit rate. Now, if you're recording a Minecraft video, which is you know kind of pixelated and, and it does, it doesn't really matter. Just do four frames per second. If you have a really you know, if you're recording Team Fortress or something, you're gonna want to choose eight or something higher. Um, this is just kind of how fast it goes, but it will be a larger file size. Video rendering quality, I'm just going to be choosing best because, you know, it is a short clip. And, uh, alright, that's it for the render settings. You can also use MP4 here. Uh, this is just one I chose. You're going to have to download this, but it's basically the same settings for the most part. So it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. But I, I just stick to WMV. Uh, and you're going to want to hit save here. Yeah, right, choose the name first. Uh, I'll just name it test. And save. So now it's going to start rendering, and yeah, it should be speeding up a bit. All right, so I'm back now. Um, it did take a little while, a minute, for only like a 12, 13 second video. That's because I'm uploading video, I got my fraps open, and obviously, you know, Sony Vegas. 
Um, usually it will be uh, it will speed up if you just close all your other programs. So what I'm going to do is here is open the folder. It's just test right here. Open this up. There we go. Yeah. There you go. So that's basically the rendering settings I use. Um, you know, <laughs> if this helped you out, if you use these render settings and you find it successful, you know, leave me a comment, like the video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you all.